How's it going, guys? Welcome again. My name is Alex Pizarro. So, um, after the, uh, the initial thoughts, one of my first uh, tests, actually, that I did was to see if the camera overheated. So, I did run the tests uh, time-wise, and I come to find out that at 27 minutes, um, recording at 4K 60 IPB, it does give you the overheat warning light. Um, and so after that, the, the notification still goes on and it gives you all the way up to 30 minutes. You'll definitely, 30 minutes and 31 seconds when I come to find out, um, it completely shut off. Uh, and so, however, while the overheat warning was still on, I wanted to see if I can switch back to, let's say, 4K 30 and realized that I got two minutes on the timer. Switched over to 4K24, two minutes on the timer. 1080-60, I got 29 minutes and 59 seconds without the overheat warning. Here's something interesting that I come to find out. When you record 4K60, the timer was at 25 minutes. However, it still went on. Uh, and also something very surprising is that this comes out of the box with version 1.10 and that's the current firmware update for the R5 basically I didn't feel like it felt like it was overheating now, that being said it kind of felt warm on the handles um, but overall the body itself didn't feel like it was overheating so that tells me that the body or the way the heat has been distributed, I mean, it didn't feel like it was hot, but this could be easy fix as well uh, with a firmware update. So I have a feeling that that firmware update will be coming soon. And when it does, hopefully it extends those times. And those are my initial tests for right now, however, there will be more tests coming up. Now, I did this while I'm inside the house, room temperature. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to test it out in the sun because it is already evening here. And I will also test out the low lights as well. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay creative out there, okay, guys?